All right, you Poco X3 Pro users out there, Ancient OS has a new update version 6.1. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install it and we will also have a quick look at it. We might not have benchmark numbers, but we will have a new look at this new update. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people, join us on Telegram. We have more than 1,800 members there. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. So let's see here what we are going to install today. Ancient OS 6.1 official. POCO X3 Pro works on Bayou and Bima. Android version is Android version 12 is what we're talking about. Build date is the 25th of January 2022. Now, the good thing here, the highlight over here, added MIUI camera. That's happening with almost all the POCO X3 Pro ROMs. So your camera worries are now gone. Merge kernel tag this. OSS based includes G apps, firmware is 12.0. SC Linux enforcing, safety net should be passing, so that's a good thing. Now, right now, we are on Paranoid Android, so things that you need to take care of, you need to remove your screen lock, your Google account. If you are an MI, you need to remove your MI account as well and restart the device. You need to make sure that you have more than 50% battery. You have backed up all the information in your phone's internal storage because that's going to be wiped clean. And you also need to ensure you have an unlocked bootloader along with your choice of TWRP installed. Now, in this case, you will need the firmware 12.0.4 or 12.0.5 based on your region, whatever works for you. And you will need the ROM, which I have copied to the pen drive. Now, in order to flash, let's go to restart and press and hold volume up and power and keep it pressed till the time you see the POCO logo. Okay, now let's allow it to enter TWRP. All right, now let's wait for the touch drivers to load. So go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik data, internal storage and cache. If you have your files on the internal storage, don't wipe internal storage. I have a flash drive connected, so I'm not worried about my internal storage. All right, so once you've formatted everything, go to install, select the OTG pen drive and then we will select the firmware first now this is an indian device so i'm using yu in firmware there is 12.0.5 add more zips and select ancient os for this particular phone that is yu now swipe to confirm flash now these are two files that we are flashing so it will take about two to three minutes to be flashed so please be patient while that happens all right now as you can see there is no error and everything has been flashed successfully so go to wipe Format data and type in yes. All right, now click on reboot system. Now the first boot will take anywhere between 45 seconds to a minute. On custom ROMs for the POCO X3 Pro, it doesn't really take a very, very long time to boot for the first time. So please be patient. We will quickly skip through the setup part and uh, then we will see what's new in ancient OS. And as you can see, that's the new boot animation and it looks like gold. It looks nice. Trust me, it looks nice. Let's wait for the phone to boot up and then we'll quickly have a look at this particular ROM. All right, and as you can see, just like that, we are on the home screen, very, very few apps. This is a definitely a de-bloated ROM. The camera situation on this particular ROM is good because we are talking about the MIUI camera. And the moment we open the MIUI camera, cannot connect to the camera for the front cam. The app will be closed in three seconds. Uh, yeah so initial days right so things will change now let's go ahead and actually go to app info and go to storage clear storage let's open the camera now now as you can see it is working if you go to portrait mode it looks like it's working fine video in all the different lenses is working fine okay video front camera is working fine as well the only thing that's not working is normal mode front camera okay so let's actually see if portrait mode front camera works or not let's quickly go to the app info and uh, clear the storage once again so that we can launch the camera application now remember without that the camera app will not launch go to portrait mode and switch to the front cam okay so that's not really bad because portrait on the front cam is working normal mode front cam is not working 
vlog mode and all is saying network error because I've not connected Wi-Fi. So it's good to see that we have MIUI camera and custom ROMs now for the Poco X3 Pro. That's of course a good thing. And uh, the ROM feels very, very fluid and smooth. To the left, of course, you have Google Feed for which you need to sign in. The Monet UI is working fine. It's doing a great job. If you go to the edit menu, you do have your screen recorder, your quick access styles. You do have caffeine over here. You have ambient display, some amount of customization. And remember, this is ancient OS we are talking about, which is known for customization. Just look at this UI at the bottom. It says ancient lover at the top. So, you know, if you go to the about section, the section will not be as similar as it is in other ROMs. In battery, we have thermal profiles. So that is good. And uh, say, let's go to apps over here. There you go. You don't have game mode over here. Let's actually look for game dashboard from Android 12. Let's see if we have that. I can't find anything. Anyways, there are other things that are available, just like the recent review of Ancient that I did for, uh, I think, K20 Pro. Now, this is a customization menu. Just look at the amount of customization options that we have. There are a ton of customization options available. And then there is UI customization as well, which is really, really significant. And then you have all the information about this particular build. They are calling it Steel. It's based on Android version 12. Security patch is January 5th. And as you can see, this is running the Perf kernel. So probably later, maybe next week, I will do a complete review about Ancient OS for the Poco X3 Pro because right now, you know, by the time you see this video, I would be traveling. There'll definitely be a speed test of this ROM with this device that is K20 Pro on the same ROM and Mi 11X on the same ROM. So definitely wait for those videos. This was a quick step-by-step -step guide to install Ancient OS on the Poco X3 Pro. Let me know if this video is helpful or not. Until the next one, this is Kailash, signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.